guys, welcome to the video. So today, the video is going to be one of the most asked questions that I get, and that is, I wanna start CrossFit, but I'm really nervous. What should I know when I go in? Should I know anything? Should I be ready for it? So today, I'm gonna take you through a whole CrossFit class from beginning to the end, so if you decide that you wanna go and try CrossFit out, you'll kind of have an idea of what it's gonna be like. The reason I am starting this video outside and not inside the gym right now is because there are a couple things I wanted to say before you even step foot into the gym. The first thing is, make sure you do your research of the gyms that are in your area, you know, do your Yelp research, make sure you kinda of look up what are, the, what are the reviews and things like that. And the second, and probably the most important tip, is give the gym a call and let them know when you're gonna be coming in. Because if you think about it, Gyms are businesses, right? And they run pretty pretty normally. They have their normal members, so they have things kind of running a certain way. So when you come in, it's going to throw that off. Not in a bad way, but it's going to make things a little bit different. So if you give them a call, you'll just the gym owners will know that you're coming in and they'll be able to, you know, get the things ready that they need to get ready, like the, the form and everything that you need to sign so you can start your class. And the second thing and the most important part about calling in is they might be able to let you know that there's actually like a beginner class that you could go to instead of maybe a normal class so you'll be able to start you know in a beginner class or do foundations and, and learn all the moons before you even step foot into a regular class so those are just some of the tips to know before you even step foot into the gym now let's get into the gym and see what a normal class is like all right so we're in the gym now the first thing you'll probably notice is that you'll see people working out. So when you walk in, most likely there's probably gonna be a class right before you got there, whatever class that you're doing. So there's probably gonna be people working out already, which is cool. And then the first thing that you're probably gonna have to do when you talk to the coaches, they're gonna have you sign a liability form. You know, this is pretty normal gym stuff. So you'll sign that, and then most likely the coach is going to let you know what the workout's gonna be. So just a pro tip for me, I like to arrive to the gym about 30 minutes before my class because I like to do some stretching before I get into the warm up. But luckily, I mean, if you don't have time, there is gonna be a warm up that's scheduled for your workout and stuff, so you don't really have to worry about it much. But for me personally, I like to arrive a little bit early to get some stretching done. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So it's about five minutes before class starts. You'll kind of notice everyone doing their own little warm ups. But with class, normally, you will start with PVC pipes, obviously every, every gym is different, but what I've noticed is a lot of gyms will start with a PVC pipe, you'll do a few pass-throughs to get your shoulders warmed up, you'll do a few overhead squats just to get you know the squatting warmed up, and then you'll actually do the actual warm-up for the workout, and then you'll do a few stretches, and then from there, the coach will explain what the workout's gonna be. So, let's get the warm-up started. All right, so oh, seven of you guys wanna start on the rower, Everyone else is going to start at the pole and you're going to do high knees on the way down. PVC pipe stuff is done. Now, warm up and then stretch and then work out. And the warm up is done. Now, I do want to explain that because CrossFit is class based, every warm up it's probably gonna be a little bit different every single time you come in, and every, obviously every workout is going to be different every single time you come in. So I didn't think it was that important to show you exactly what we were doing, because again, that's just for today. But every day you're gonna have a warm up, and it's always going to be explained by your coach. There's always gonna be a coach that's there explaining everything that you're gonna be doing from the warm up all the way down to the cool down. So you don't have to be too stressed about it. So the warm up is done, now we're gonna start getting ready for the specific workout that we're gonna start with. Okay, so just to explain kind of how a class normally works, for our gym and for a lot of other gyms, it's usually broken into two pieces. So normally it'll be maybe like some sort of strength movements to say we're doing back squats or front squats or deadlifts. So that'll be its own section, that'll be the strength portion, and then it'll be broken up into another Metcon. So what Metcon stands for is metabolic conditioning. So that's normally the more cardio-based workout. So a normal day for us will be strength first, rest a few minutes, and then you'll do the Metcon. But today we're actually gonna be doing an EMOM, which stands for every minute on the minute. We're gonna be doing pull-ups, and then we're actually going to be doing handstand holds. So that's gonna be the first portion of the workout, and then I'll explain what the Metcon is gonna be after we're done with this. Yep. Jeez. That's 
Okay, so we're done with the first part. I want to take this time to kind of say, so if you've never kicked up to a wall and done a handstand, right? There's always, the, the beauty about CrossFit is there's always a way to scale something down. What scale something down means is basically make the movement a little bit easier, a little bit more accessible to you. With the pull-ups, it was really easy to see. You saw people that had bands. So if you're not able to do a strict pull-up, that's a really easy scaling option. So the workout today is actually, it's kind of beautiful. It works out really, really well. It's a very, very simple workout. So what it is, is four rounds of a 400 meter run and 50 air squats. That's it. Just because it sounds really simple, those are usually the workouts that'll get you. It sounds really easy, but I know when I'm running and doing the squats, I'm going to be dying. So it's gonna be awesome. All right, let's do it. Running. Two laps around the building. You're gonna come in, 50 air squats. Push through the air squats, get burned. All the way down, that's part of it. But this is not good, all right? So open up the knees and open up the hips. So this isn't good either. My chest is like parallel to the ground. Get tall, just keep moving all the way up. As you guys can see, there's always gonna be a coach, there's always gonna be someone explaining the workout. So if you're nervous, if you're kind of worried, if you don't know what the movements are, there's always going to be a coach. That's what you're paying for, right? You're paying for a coach to explain the workout and let you know what you should be doing if you need to scale the workouts. But luckily today, nobody's really gonna need to scale this because everyone, pretty much everybody can run and pretty much everybody can air squat. This workout is gonna be one that's pretty attainable for pretty much anybody. All right, let's do it. go that's that's it that's what CrossFit looks like the the reason I wanted to make this video is I don't want people that are intimidated by maybe like watching the CrossFit games online or or watching other people work out be intimidated by CrossFit because CrossFit really is a very simple way to work out you get to hang out with really cool people you get to make a family you get to make so many friends like I really want people to understand that that CrossFit is not scary it is very much attainable for any fitness level anybody can do CrossFit hey Dave Dave how long have you been doing CrossFit just under six months. So I have a question. What was it like coming into your first class? And like, do you have any tips for somebody that might want to start CrossFit but is kind of like nervous about it or anything like that? So for me, yeah, I was scared. I was nervous. I'd, I hadn't worked out in probably 15, 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I was really scared at what it was going to be like. Could I even do any of it? What were the people going to be like? Um, but I do have a good friend who's in CrossFit and he just kept talking to me about it and saying, hey, give it a shot. So I did, and as soon as I came here, the great thing is I already knew John. I knew his brother, John, that helps a lot. But for me, it's just like, don't wait for people to come talk to me. I just started talking to people and I just started asking questions and I really got involved with the coaches and asking them questions and made sure that I was doing things right. So after the first night, I just knew, I was like, okay, I can do this. I can't do it at the level other people are at, but I'm not really worried about that. And so um, my tip to you is come in and just give it a shot. And don't worry about anyone else and what they're doing. Worry about yourself and just start out light and worry about technique. So, and that's what I've done and it's worked out great. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. So, boom. Bam. Well, that's it. <laughs> From the man himself, Dave. Just gotta try it out. If you are thinking about doing CrossFit, this kind of maybe pushed you over the edge to give it a shot. And yeah, see you guys later.